Hello, everybody. Another week. I'm delighted to say that no individuals have COVID or isolating or any horrible thing like that since the 27th of June. So there is a good chance that we are riding out this storm. Having said that, we have had a number of individuals who have gone into hospital. So we are really keeping our fingers crossed that they did not get some horrible infection and come back out with COVID. But anyway, everybody's on to it and keeping an eye on it. So fingers crossed. The other really good thing is that the number of colleagues who are isolated has again come down. We are now on 11. That's 11 too many, but that is life and I guess it's going to be up and down all around. And we have completed 757 tests in the last seven days. Looking back, let me tell you, 757 tests to be done is a massive uh, disruption in the homes. There's a huge amount of work and everything. So please, as I keep saying, do not underestimate the actual sort of the way that COVID is still stretching what we're doing in the homes and the, and the incredible team that we've got. Which brings me to breaking news that we have just be, just announced, about to announce. And that is that we as a family are totally, totally committed to using every penny that we've got to basically um, increase what we are paying our amazing teams because we believe that the way that we're developing care, it is a highly skilled job now. This isn't the same as, as stacking shelves in, in Tesco's or anything or a supermarket or anything like that. So what we have done is we have increased um, for anybody over 18, the minimum rate that anyone now joins the organization has been increased from £10.20 an hour, which is an average rate taking into account week, weekdays and weekends. And we have increased that to £11, which is um, a phenomenal increase. Um, and we've just we just think, you know, look, we have we, we, we've got to do this, a because we need to recognize and reward, um, but also because we have to attract more really bright, smart, the brightest, the smartest, the most committed, not necessarily the most academic, but people who absolutely get our values and share what our mission is. So we want to really, really be able to attract these guys because we, you know, there is no option because this is what the future of care looks like with everything that we're doing. And as a result of that, um, everybody in the organization gets a minimum increase of 25p an hour. Um, or £520 a year if they're salaried, which is going towards uh, this horrible increase in fuel. Um, and if they don't, if they're not drivers, they can at least put it towards increase um, other costs, whatever that might be. Um, and anyway, we are saying that anybody working within the homes, if they're over 18, actually within the homes, are getting a minimum increase of an extra 50 pence um, an hour. And all of that is to reward, is to encourage, um, and is to say a massive, massive thank you. We could not have got through the horrible months and years that we've been through with COVID without such splendid and amazing people. Um, and so that's what we're trying to do. And I'm sure that you guys will all um, agree with agree with what I'm saying that you know our us our teams are amazing uh, they really are so which brings me on to what we're all focusing on which is the HFHC summer show and uh, that's at the end of the month uh, we're coming we're going to be there and I Hugo's always there with Kirsten and the kids and so on so you know we're really looking forward to that and hopefully we will meet some of you there and we really would like to encourage you to come because it's just really nice to see you. Um, and I'm sure you will find it's really reassuring to see just the amazing way in which, which your son's daughters are being supported. So thank you very much. Have a fantastic weekend. Great week. Catch up with you next week. All the best.